My cards have just been refused. I'll need to access my husband's account. Sadly, that's not allowed. He has uh, been... He died last night. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that, does that make a difference? Sorry, no. <laughs> it was our first night in his dream house. Harry was so excited. He showed us round. We had champagne. I came out of the bathroom expecting to see Harry in bed. Harry! The coroner has asked for a post-mortem. It's likely there'll be an inquest. Oh, God, you think I pushed him? They just fell down the stairs. No banisters, which is ridiculous. Mum, it's a smart house. Not that smart. How are you coping? I'm trying to keep gloom at bay. I'm here to see my husband. You need the morgue in the basement. Of course it is. It's not Harry. No, it's Leonard. There's been a mix-up. Harry gave us this house. We owe half a million in inheritance tax. The house is not being sold. Harry built it. Why the hell did you give them our house? How many other secrets have you got? We've reviewed the CCTV data in your house. Who's that? Someone was there the night Harry died. Any news on how it happened? Well, we know how it happened, Dad. I just thought the police might know a bit more. Please ignore him. He's older than he looks. You'll never know. I'm Harry's son, from before you. I just want to be your friend. Harry's son? I don't even know what to do with that information. I found a letter from a fertility clinic. It feels like everything's unraveling. I was your husband's business partner. Money changes people. Keep my name out of any evidence. The house, it can't be sold except to me. I'll get back to you with a quote ASAP. No, you won't, you silly twat. You'll never know. It's easy to be all righteous. Oh, it's not easy to be all anything at the moment. I miss him so much. You will get through this. Harry, he's up there watching us. This is the first glimmer of peace I've had. A shower might be a good idea. I'm not the same person, but that might be comforting, don't you think? We want to ask him if he'd like to be buried in the garden. Do you think that's crazy? Asking a dead person where they'd like to be buried or burying him in the garden? Both. Yes.